guys welcome back to my channel grace for nuts my name is tyler and this is my channel thank you so much for clicking to watch me if you are new and to my returning subscribers thank you so much for your support i really appreciate you all today we are going to go back into our wedding series so my channel is about weddings makeup events product reviews lifestyle so many other things so yeah i've got quite a few videos so make sure you go through my list of videos and you'll have quite a few interesting videos to watch so today we're going back into our wedding series and i'm going to be talking about five hacks five hacks that you can use to make sure that you save money on your wedding the very first one is make sure you go to a wed wedding fair i can't emphasize how important this is because that's where you get a lot of offers, a lot of discounts. All the vendors are there, the, um, the wedding bridal shops, photographers, people that make cakes, flowers, people that decorate, everything really, they all attend. And so when you go there, you can actually get very, very good offers. And actually, when they find out that you're actually a bride, because the first question they tend to ask is, oh, when is your wedding? And if you say, oh, my wedding is so, so, so time, then they are, they'll all be all over you. They actually give discounts. You know, a number of my brides have actually got discounts on their wedding gowns. One of the wedding shops gave 50 pounds off their wedding gown and it was valid for six months. So they were able to go much later when they had made up their minds because you are not really pressurized to make the decision there and then. You can take your time, think about it, check other options. And then there's also a catwalk where you see all the different um, bridal shops. They come there and then they have their models trying out their new designs. And it's really quite nice. It's just nice for a day out. I tend to go quite a lot. The one I tend to attend most is the one in Excel. They have that one in April and October. So yes, make sure that you attend a wedding fair if you're planning to get married because you can actually, actually get a lot of discounts that you didn't even really think about. So that's the first hack. So the second hack is to make sure when you're getting married, in order to save money, you can do your wedding on a weekday. It doesn't have to be on a Saturday. Most people tend to prefer Saturdays, but Saturdays are actually more expensive and they're actually really, really hard. It's really hard to get a wedding if, especially if you are booking your wedding fairly late it's hard to get a very very nice venue on a saturday because that's what people go to go for most but if you book your wedding on a weekday a friday thursday even maybe wednesday and some people even do sundays and funny enough the vendors actually because i remember when i was planning a wedding with a bride not too long ago the vendor said it will be cheaper one of the vendors that's a photographer he said he, 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 he will charge less to come on a Friday. So we actually chose the Friday because Friday, there was no, um, Saturday was really, really booked already. And this was a year in advance even when we were booking. Saturday was gone. And also Friday, we had, we got better rates on the photographers, the photographer and the person who came to record. They actually charged less. So that's another thing. So that's the second hack that you should um, think about when you're trying to save money on your wedding. The third hack is your cake. So you can use a dummy cake for your wedding. And in this case, you have so many tiers, but not everything is actually cake. You might just have, you might have about six or seven tiers and only three, two or three of them may be cake, you know. And actually the people who bake the cakes, actually nowadays, they tend to even suggest that. We did that in one of the weddings that I planned. Part of it was cake, part of it wasn't. And then she was able to even spend much less than if she had used everything if she had made the cake I think it was about seven tiers if it had been completely completely cake and you wouldn't really even be able to eat all that no matter how many guests you have you know so it's better to just make sure that you, you, you if you want a very very nice cake you don't have to spend so much money on it you can just have like three of them real cake and the rest is made out of cardboard paper and it's decorated it looks just like cake so you don't really have to worry about that so that's the, that's the third wedding hack and my fourth wedding hack now is your bouquet you can actually make another bouquet you know because i know that many of the brides they make very nice expensive bouquets and then they don't really want to throw it because i mean they kind of there's a kind of attachment but I think it's the, it's the tradition, it's the tradition to throw your bouquet so that at least people on the bridal train can um, actually 
catch it or so. So make sure that you, you can have another bouquet. In fact, that reminds me, make sure that the person that you have as your as your um, MC knows how to pronounce it. Because I was at a wedding recently and he said, and the bride is going to throw her bouquet. Uh, and I was just really confused. Oh my days, you know, it was, it was really, and he just said, oh, the bride is going to throw her bouquet. And yes, that's how it's spelled, but it's not pronounced bouquet, it's pronounced bouquet. And so if I wasn't eating, if I was eating then, I probably would have almost choked on my food. It was so funny. So make sure you, you use people for your MC that are not um, maybe one Uncle Tunji somewhere or one Uncle Tunde somewhere, you know, just make sure that you, you use people that actually know what they're talking about, you know, so, so you can make an extra bouquet that you can throw, especially if you feel that like, oh, you spent a lot of money on your bouquet and you don't really want to. You don't want to throw it because one of the weddings I planned, the, guy, the bride actually, she spent a lot of money on her bouquet. Her bouquet was more than 100 pounds because she had some really nice exotic flowers that we actually had to import. Yeah, we had to import those flowers. So it was quite expensive. So she didn't want to throw it and then people were expecting her to throw her bouquet and then she didn't really, you know. So yeah, so make sure you have an extra one that is not too expensive, it can look similar, it might not be real flowers, it may be just fake flowers, you know, which look almost like real flowers and then you can throw that one so that at least the excitement of the bridesmaids and the friends of the bride wanting to catch the bouquet is still there, you know. So yeah, so that's, that's another bouquet, <laughs> sorry, that is another hack. My fifth and final hack is to try and, as much as possible to use a makeup artist. Even if you're a makeup expert, even if you know how to do your makeup very well, you do makeup for other people. When it comes to your own wedding, it's nice to just relax and let someone else do it for you. Except you're going to a wedding in a very far away place like maybe Dubai and then to bring a makeup artist in, there is going to cost you an extra and a lot, a lot of money to bring another person, a makeup artist there. So in, in which case you can just decide to do it yourself, especially if you're a makeup artist yourself. So most of the makeup artists, they actually know what they're doing. You're actually paying for reliability of the makeup artists. They are reliable. You're also paying for their time management. They know how to manage time. They know how to manage a crowd and they know how to put people into place, you know, because you might have bridesmaids that are a bit um, over the top and they want certain things, but a makeup artist actually would be able to control them. Yeah, so that's, those are my five hacks. So I've not talked about the wedding dress and other things like that, but I'm going to do a video on wedding dresses and how to get the best deals on wedding dresses as well. So that video too, I'll be doing that in a few weeks. So make sure you're subscribed to my channel and also hit the bell so that you'll be notified when I upload. And then also please share, comment, like. Thank you very much for my, thank you very much for watching my video. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys.